Thomas's frosty friend. The winter holiday season is a very busy time on the island of Sodor. Percy has more mail to deliver. Gordon has more visitors aboard his express. And Thomas has very important jobs to do. One morning, Thomas had to go to Brendam Docks. I must pick up the logs for Farmer McCole, he puffed. Percy was waiting at the signal when Thomas arrived. He was very excited. Look what's over there, Thomas, peeped Percy. Thomas looked. It was a big snowman. The children were excited, too. I've never seen such a big snowman, chuffed Percy. Neither have I, tooted Thomas happily. The signal changed to green, and Thomas steamed away. Suddenly, a strong gust of wind lifted the snowman off the ground, away from the children. The snowman was a snowman balloon. Thomas didn't see the guide ropes catch on his buffers and get caught there. And he didn't know the balloon was now following him. Thomas stopped at the level crossing. Suddenly, the children's snowman was there in front of him. Thomas was surprised. He didn't know a snowman could dance in the air. What are you doing here, Mr. Snowman? cried Thomas. Mr. Snowman said nothing. You must go back to the children, tooted Thomas. They'll be very sad without you. The snowman blew away. Thomas was happy the snowman had gone. He raced away from the crossing. If I puff past, chuffed Thomas, Mr. Snowman will never be able to follow me. Thomas arrived at Brendam Docks. James was there delivering coal. What are you doing with a snowman, he snorted. Oh no, tooted Thomas. Suddenly, the snowman danced in front of Thomas again. Mr. Snowman, I told you to go back to the children. Why are you still following me? Thomas steamed off as quickly as he could. He hoped the snowman wouldn't follow him. Thomas, called James, why do you have a giant balloon tied to your buffers? <laughs> 